Sagittarius Capricorn Cuspers, welcome to your reading for April 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm just going to get straight into this, you guys. Um, if you've been watching any of the other uh, cusp readings, then you've heard my spiel. The one thing I haven't been saying is that this is a timeless reading, even though it is you know, the message that's dated for April, it just means, solely just means that it's coming through in April. And so that's for organizational purposes. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, excellent. So I was feeling into your energy as I was shuffling to get your pre-shuffle, and I felt, right before I saw this first card, which is the Knight of Swords, I felt why... Oh, there's some sort of trouble going on for you guys. There's some sort of aggression. And then here you go. None other than the Knight of Swords came out. And I was like, uh-oh, okay, what's going on? After that, I was like, it was judgment. I was like, oh. And that's where energies of revenge or redemption. Rede and those aren't, I'm having trouble putting into words. That's not exactly the word that I'm feeling that would best describe this energy. However, redemption is the closest to it. Um, and there were, it's as if you're fighting back or you're fighting against some others. And then of course, here comes the five of wands. And I was like, yeah. So this is, so it is very well may be that you are standing your ground, um, in relation to some other people that may be trying to get in your way, that may be trying to stop you. Because at the root of this situation, I'm sorry, at, at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy for this pre-shuffle for you is in fact the lovers. And the lovers is about a choice, ultimately. It could be a choice between two potential partners, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. It could represent a love connection, maybe a higher level, higher vibrational connection, divine connection, twin flame connection. Okay. But this is not a specific love reading. Like I'm not, uh, this is not intended to be a love reading and I'm not specifically feeling the energies of love coming through. I feel like this is a choice that you have made for yourself and you're sticking to it by all means necessary, unfortunately, knight of swords. Uh, I don't exactly feel like you're looking for a fight, although some of you are in a pretty aggressive energy. So if someone comes at you, you're not afraid to, to, to get down. Um, some of you might be being a little overly aggressive here. Not going to lie. You, some of you might be really being overly aggressive, but it's really what I'm feeling like here. It's because it's from a place of wanting or needing to defend yourself. It's a place of, um, there is a bit of righteous energy here with this, especially coupled with judgment, because there's a higher level of awareness that you're coming to. There's an awakening that's happening for you. There's a realization. This could just be, it, this could just be an aha moment with judgment, but I feel like even if it's just one small, almost feel, it could seem very ace of swordsy ace of swords is like that aha moment the light bulb it's that moment that you realize something or that you figure something out it could be fairly small however the impact of it or the reason the catalyst the catalyst for it is um an awakening a wake-up call higher awareness elevating to a new level a new perspective and thus there is a level of wanting to defend yourself or feeling like you need to defend yourself or your beliefs or your actions here the one thing i want to say to you guys that's going to help you avoid unnecessary arguments unnecessary squabbles unnecessary fights um oh shit i lost it Just recognize that this is this is a higher level awareness. You don't have to fight against it. If there's anyone that wants to, to cut you off or, or, or discredit you, stamp you down, just deflect and move on. Change your focus. Don't even engage with any of that. Because to be quite honest, I feel like this is a losing battle. This kind of could be an ego battle if you're feeling like you need to charge in and forcibly change someone's mind. That's not your responsibility. The fact of the matter here is that you have the higher awareness and that's really all that matters because you are the only one that can control your own life. You can't control the life of others. Your life is the only thing that you can control. You can't control others. So this is a meaningless battle. To be quite honest, unless someone is really trying to understand and maybe even trying to learn from you, maybe even trying to follow in your footsteps. Okay, that's great. Have your discussion, but don't charge in trying to change someone's mind for them. It's not worth it. It's not going to help you. Okay. All right. Saji, Cappy, 
cusper. Let's get into the rest of the reading here for you. All right, here we go. Uh, hold on, okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarius Capricorn cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of April 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So a, a song just popped into my head. It's by Janet Jackson. It's Every Time. One. It's off the Velvet Rope album. Um, interesting. But every time your love is near And every time I'm filled with fear Cause every time I see your face my heart does begin to race every time. I don't know what that means for you. This is three. Um, this could be another person that's connected to you, that's watching you from the outside. Because I feel like you are very solid in who you are and what it is you're doing, where it is you're going. You have gone through your activation and I feel like you are activating others. All right. I feel like this is someone that's looking at you, watching you from a distance and kind of like, whoa, this person means more to me than I thought initially. Their activation has catalyzed me. Interesting. You might want to go check, listen to that song. What is the, what is the verse? Oh, I'm afraid I'm starting to feel what i said i would not do okay i'm not gonna sing anymore because i'm monetized i'm gonna get in trouble but go check out that song it's called every time it's by janet jackson it's off the velvet rope album okay all right Boop. overall energy for you saggy cappy <gasps> the tower mm -mm, y'all All right, keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, so this could be between you or the cross watcher. I, it doesn't matter, but someone here is setting the record straight and is, is tearing the tower down. And this is, uh, this is the energy that I'm picking up on in which it, someone is reaching a realization because of the other person's actions that are in righteous accordance with themselves. Underneath the tower, there's that five of wands again conflict, ego, battle. Um, I'm hearing betrayal. Someone feels like they've been betrayed. But what I'm getting on the other side of the equation is that person, the other person here that's moving forward, most likely you, Cap Sag Cusper, um, but it doesn't have to be that way. You were the one that was alt uh, originally betrayed. And now this other person is kind of getting mm, the comeuppance what they're receiving they're receiving back what they put out and thus it's causing an ego battle they're having to they're having to experience this energy that they put out there themselves in order to really get the lesson but it's like with this tower energy you're someone is putting an end to something underneath the five of wands there is judgment again and underneath judgment yep yeah, look at that the five of cups. There's the sorrow. There's the heartbreak. There's the pain. There's the regret. There's the remorse. And there's the shame. If you are dealing with someone that is getting their comeuppance right now, as you're moving forward in your righteous awakened energy. Um, oh my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. I keep losing it. Oh, the, the, whatever flare up is happening on their behalf is because they're getting triggered. That's all there is to it. They're getting triggered by this. Okay, let's get into it. First set of surrounding energies for you guys, we have, there you go, Queen of Swords. Yeah, bye Felicia, you might be ghosting someone, 
but I feel like you really are cutting someone off completely. Underneath the king of, I'm sorry, the queen of swords is the nine of cups, satisfaction. Okay, someone really could be coming at you with some, talking some mess, all right? Because you're, cut, someone here is cutting themselves off from another person and it's bringing them happiness. They're doing it for a sense of happiness. They're finding peace and and, and um, maybe even validation or um, um, this is the word I'm looking for. It's an S word. They're look. They're finding security, stability, satisfaction. There it is. They're finding satisfaction on their own without this other person that they're cutting off. And the other person that's get, kind of getting cut off is like, what? You can't do this to me. I thought I was your satisfaction. I thought I was your happiness. I thought I was your fulfillment. And then the person that's doing the cutting is like, um, well, actually I found fulfillment elsewhere. I f and I would hope, 1111, I would hope that you found that, that fulfillment within. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure that's entirely the case. I do feel like there could be a situation in which someone has moved on to a new relationship because they have in, found, in fact found satisfaction or some sense of wish fulfillment. But I wanna caution you because if you're bouncing from one relationship to another without having the energy or having the time and space to heal from the past, then you do, you are putting yourself in the potential of just recreating what it is you left out of. But this queen of swords energy here is a little more reassurance that chances are you're actually moving some towards something that actually is much more satisfying. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you. There's the lovers again. You could be dealing with a romantic relationship. You could be dealing with a choice. Someone really could have chosen another partner, found something better. I do feel like, though, the strongest thing I feel like is that whatever it is you've chosen, if you are, in fact, moving on to another romantic relationship, it is in better alignment with you. It's a choice that you made for yourself. And the person that could be coming at you talking mess might be feeling like you might be trying to beat you down and, and say how you're being over you're being so selfish but uh, the funny thing about that is their reaction to this right now is highly indicative of their own sense of selfishness and if you were coming if you are coming out of a relationship with this person i feel like this person was super super selfish throughout the course of your relationship and now you're finally yeah, comeuppance. Now you're finally taking that energy and doing the same for yourself. And they're like, what? You can't do that. Textbook narcissism. The lovers is coupled with the three of cups, celebration, happiness, soul family. I mean, maybe you might even really feel can be involved with a bunch of people in which you feel so incredibly connected with them. And you may even be like, you may even feel like you've never felt this connected to a group of people or a person before ever in your life. But that really just kind of speaks to the alignment that you found, right? Beautiful. Celebration, union, excellent. Your challenge, 10 of swords, letting the situation crumble, letting the situation come to completion. You are, I feel like some of you are really going to have to deal with a barrage of egoic activity from whomever or whatever it is you're leaving behind. And you really just have to not even engage. Just let it roll off of you like water off a duck's back. Do not even engage with them because it is not going to be worth your time. It is fruitless. You're literally just feeding into their narcissistic temper tantrum. Ten of Swords is coupled with the High Priestess. A higher place of awareness, keeping your mouth shut, not engaging, keeping your secrets to yourself, keeping to yourself, watching them spiral, watching them have a meltdown. But this is not watching it with like, aha, ha, I'm watching you and I'm getting a good, good amount of enjoyment out of this. There might be a part of you that's kind of enjoying watching them melt down now because their, their source of energy, because they're an energetic vampire, is being you know, retracted from them. But the high priestess is also saying, or speaking to watching this happen from a higher point of view and understanding what's going on. 
which would also lead you to not really engage with it because of this higher awareness, because of this higher understanding. You're like, no, I know that I, I need not engage with this because this just needs to die away. Do not feed the monster. Mm -hmm. Why did I, I just heard social conditioning. This has a social conditioning aspect to it. So some of you could be dealing with patriarchal energy. Someone could be dealing with the hive mind here with the three of cups, that type of energy. But maybe it could be that whomever is reacting to whatever is going on here in a negative way, it's coming from a place of social, a foundation of social conditioning. Again, the hive mind, but I feel like you're breaking free or someone here is breaking free from that now. And others are, might be having a really difficult time with it. Closing message or potential outcome for my saggy Cappy Cuthberts here. Oh, there's that Knight of Swords again. And I just saw 555 five, five on the counter. Yeah, someone's not having a good time with this. Someone is fighting against it tooth and nail. And someone might be trying to recreate your own or the opposing side's righteous truthfully and uh, um, um, rightfully righteous energy in coming at in, 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 you know, and trying to attack them saying, no, I'm the righteous one here. But with you or with this other person kind of keeping their mouth closed, it's like, no, no, unfortunately, I don't even think you really understand the meaning, the true meaning of real righteousness, real alignment. Knight of Swords is coupled with the Page of Cups. Kill him with kindness, y'all. If someone is coming at you with this really super aggressive and combative energy, hold peace, love, and compassion for them. But again, don't engage. Don't fight fire with fire. Fight fire with water. Love, compassion, and understanding. Yes? Coolio, yo. So... Let's close this out here for you. Yeah, that song is definitely a part of this. <clears throat> and it could be, if you are leaving a romantic relationship behind, um, it could be that someone is reacting like this in a really aggressive manner because they are in fact in love and they're starting to recognize how much love there was here and they want to get it back. But let me tell you, and don't let me, no, I'm, I ain't telling you anything you don't know at this point, but they are not going about it the right way. <laughs> and they may, it may, it may very well be that they are not capable of being compassionate, understanding, balanced or even grounded at this time because they're still working through narcissistic conditioning that probably is or narcissistic tendencies that have probably been acquired as a result of narcissistic abuse but there is that higher wisdom coming into play here understanding things from a higher point of view okay all right let's close this out and get you some oracle guidance here and see what we've got for you. Wow. Do you guys see that? Compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. And finally leadership oh my god yes step into your leadership share your message inspire and uh, empower others remain in your high ground oh and then you have nature at the bottom of the deck just like the scorpio sag cusper all right um so ground yourself remain grounded if you're feeling overloaded or overwhelmed return to nature mother gaia will help you iron or level or balance everything out but you're definitely taking a leadership role and that has everything to do with staying in this higher awareness and not engaging in low vibrational energies so beautiful you guys so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you if you'd like a look into your own personal situation please don't hesitate to email me all the information is in the description box below but with that said i hope you guys have a fantastic month and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading most likely for the month of may yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye. Ooh. <laughs>